Peace, everybody. Thomas Amar with another special edition of Conversation Corner. I'm coming from a video that I watched. Um, and I said audio earlier, but it actually it's a video that I watched of Les Brown. And it's called, it's from his um, uh, series that he had done, Shoot for the Moon. And if you miss, you'll land among the stars. But with this, I talked about a couple of other things I, t I gave uh, on some of the other videos. I th gave some of the comments that he had given, some of the quotes. And um, as far as his definitions of commitment, but in this particular video, I wanted to discuss or at least give you a couple of points that he gave, you know, that would be really helpful because once you get this and then you turn around and you join my team, oh my goodness, you'll be a step ahead of so many people because you'll be recognizing the necessity of personal development and personal growth. So with that, let me start getting to him because I want to make it really quick. He said to eliminate the word try. Try. It's, and, and I've said this before, either you do it or you don't. It's either yes or it's no. It's either you're pregnant or you're not. You're not in the middle. You're not sort of pregnant. Either you sit down or you didn't sit down. So you have to eliminate the word try. Try is another way of saying that I am not going to commit to something. And nine times out of ten or most of the time, I really don't want to do it. I'm just not bold enough to say it. So let's get rid of that word try. Another thing, how about this one, is take a stand. Take a stand. Stand your ground. You know, everything is coming through. You know, you're going to have so many people that are going to question you. And who cares what other people think? This is your life. This is your world. This is your very existence. Why can't you be happy? Why would you allow someone to come in and distract your peace of mind? It's unbelievable. Take a stand. You know, because you're dancing at a beat, the beat of a different drummer because you're you. Only you can satisfy you. You are your biggest cheerleader. I'm my biggest cheerleader. I learned one thing is to stop expecting other people to do something for me. Stop with the expectations of having thinking that somebody is going to continue to promote me and push me and support me and all of that. That is just not reality. You may get somebody that will be there, but... It, you cannot, no one can support you more than you can support yourself. Live in the moment. How about that one? He says, live in the moment. Learn to fail. Okay, so you fail. Get up and do it again. Start all over. You know, wash it off. Get over it. You lost. But remember, winners never quit. And quitters never win. You know, so, and that was my own thing. But what you have to do, and it wasn't that I made it up. I got it from someone else, but he didn't say it in here. You know, and, and you know, take responsibility. You know, come on. If you didn't make it or something went wrong, take responsibility. Don't sit there and tell a lie because this is, see, I go straight out at you. I said, it's a lie. If you say you want to stop smoking, you say you want to stop drinking, taking drugs, you say you want to stop doing this and stop doing that, and then every time we see you, you're sitting there, taking drugs or every time we see you we see you smoking you say you want to lose weight but every time i turn around you're sitting here eating back off take responsibility for you self-commitment no excuses are accepted none there is no acceptable excuse be committed to yourself be you remember be smart think first Think first. Be smart. Conversation Corner. Hit me up. It actually works. Biz. ThomasAmal.com. Make some comments. Hit me up on Facebook. Hell, my phone number is down there. Do that. Call me. Talk to you soon. Out.